The city of Sioux Falls or the Sioux Falls City Council is considering amending an ordinance concerning another form of housing, short term rental properties like Airbnb or VRBO. In tonight's Your Money Matters, the change is being proposed in Sioux Falls and Minnehaha County. And the group of local short term rental owners now working to share more about their industry's impact in the community. We organized uh, quite some time ago to talk about really our story. The Sioux Falls Short Term Rental Alliance began online, but now has some of the city's largest rental owners sharing their impact on the community. We're bringing around $13 million back to the city, not including all the local businesses we're recommending. Go see our park systems, go down to the local coffee shop, go eat at some of these local places uh, and see our city. Um, it's really important for us to make sure that we're also supporting our community. Christine Erickson has been a short term rental owner for more than a decade. She says her business is helping revitalize the All Saints neighborhood. We're putting our funds back into those properties that maybe were a little tired in the past. We have 25 different short term rentals uh, that span from full houses to fourplexes. Albert Heising and his wife have made short term rentals their full time business with their company Sodak Stays, which includes many revitalized properties in central Sioux Falls. We've had 2000 plus days two challenges. Both short term rental owners say they rarely have any issues with guests, but they know that's not always the case. What's happened over the years is there's maybe been one or two bad actors um, that have had those bad stays, and so that causes challenges. It's one reason Minnehaha County and the city of Sioux Falls are looking at potential changes to the current short-term rental ordinance. Some of the um, proposed regulation coming forward would essentially um, knock some of us out of the rental game for the short term. One of the group's concerns is a requirement to have a parking space for each bedroom in the rental. Let's say my house has four bedrooms. If you need to have a parking space per bedroom, well, I have a shared driveway and one off street parking spot. If I have that as a normal homeowner, I can't even fit my family. They're also questioning a new measure that would require notification of all neighbors within 500 feet of the property. If I can just be a neighbor and I complain, hey, I just don't like they're doing this. Well, that's their property, right? The first reading of the proposed ordinance changes happened last week with a second reading and public comment scheduled for Tuesday, August 22nd at the Sioux Falls City Council meeting.